All right, guys. Um, joined by VCU's Keyshawn Curry, Ace Baldwin, and Vince Williams. Uh, as always, if you have questions, use the raise hand feature or uh, type in the chat. Uh, one note, a uh, season high 10 assists for Ace Baldwin today. We'll go ahead and start with Wayne Epps. Go ahead, Wayne. Hey, guys, just was wondering, you know, what was kind of message from, from Coach Atherwood just about the second half? Um, what he felt, you know, could have gone better down the stretch there as Jamie made the comeback? Uh, our defense, for sure, we let out 15 points in the second half, so I know that could have been better. And he said it's like this is our first time, like, playing, coming out slow in the second half. Like, we never played like that. Kind of off that, what do you think the biggest thing you can learn? Like you said, you know, these previous four games, you kind of kept the foot on the pedal in the second half and, and won by a large margin. So what do you think is the biggest thing you can learn from having the team come back the way they did uh, today? Uh, just like, just keep our foot on the gas. Like, don't let up until the clock uh, hit zero, zero in the second half. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Noah, Noah Fleischman, go ahead. Keyshawn, your first game back from your injury, you looked pretty good in the second half. How did it feel to be back out there? And then what was working for you, I guess, in the second half, starting to get on a roll there? Uh, it just felt good to be back out there playing with my teammates, for real, for real. Seeing them smile, enjoying, you know, running up and down, shooting the ball, playing with my teammates. Uh, the second half, I just was being me. You know, I got in foul trouble in the first half, so it wasn't, he didn't allow me to be myself. So second half, I just came out with doing it. Uh, Wayne Epps, go ahead. Yeah, yeah Vince, uh, I want to ask too, what was kind of your mindset in those closing minutes? You had um, a big basket there to kind of help stave jam you off. So what's kind of your mindset down the stretch to, you know, as you know, they were making a comeback to uh, kind of maybe stay level-headed and, and, uh, and do what you could to, to, to keep, them, keep them at a distance? Um, I don't really even know. I just felt like I kind of stooped my step back a lot and now as I team, it goes in. So I shot it and I felt good. it felt good. So. I knew that was going to happen. But all in all, I feel like we just stayed poised, even though they came back. And we have a young team, but it don't really matter. We still got to uh, keep going, playing hard all the whole time. Second half, they really came out, and they showed they, showed they really wanted to be here, and we didn't. But we going to fix that. And um, if I could ask um, all three of you guys, I know you guys have to stay, you know, for the for the um, holiday break. So, um, uh, how do you guys plan to kind of use that the, use upcoming, uh, you know, seven eight days uh, before you get into a ten play? Um, you know, while you stay during the holiday. Oh, uh, we about to just hang out with each other. I'm gonna get a lot of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't much. There's not much we can really do. So, we're just gonna be with each other like we are every day. It's like any other day at this point. Right. Thank you. Noah, go ahead. Um, guys, what was the game planning, I guess, for this game any different than a normal game, just finding out on short notice who you guys are playing tonight? It was the same, you know, play hard, try to win a game. Nothing different. He didn't say nothing different. We prepared differently, just came out and played pretty much. No matter who in front of us, just kill them. Facts. <laughs> Sean Robertson. Guys, congratulations on the win. I apologize if I, if this has been asked, but I just want to get your thoughts about using that second half uh, as a teaching moment for you guys to get ready for your conference opener. Can you say that again? I was just saying, can you use the second half uh, as a teaching moment to get ready for your conference opener next week? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, the second half taught us to Finish game. Don't allow your team, your your opponents to come back and uh, don't allow them to get easy baskets. Finish games. Step on their neck while you were, while you were ahead. We was up twenty. We let them score fifty points. I think in the second half. And you know, so that's not us. So it's definitely you know it, it brought more fire to our campfire. So it definitely teacher points. Anybody want to follow or add to that? No, I'm that saying just keep keep our foot on the paddle. Don't let up. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Uh, Noah, do you have one more? Um, guys, when you guys talked about this second half and how they can they put up 50 points, how much more does this want to make you get back on the court and 
start getting back to work and getting ready for the next game? It's actually like motivation. So like next game, you know for sure that's not gonna happen again. So I use that as like motivation. Yeah, it was definitely motivation. It's definitely gonna help us, the older guys, also the young guys, to you know, it's gonna instill that we need to finish games pretty much. So that's that's more of the story. That's the main the main teaching point that it gave us just to finish games. Uh, Wayne with a follow-up. Um, I, I was just wondering uh, how much of you guys been able to kind of pay attention to the rest of the league to this point and what, what kind of your impressions of the rest of the league uh, as you get ready for a play in a week? Uh, we haven't really been paying attention to the league or any other opponents in front of us. We just go game by game, day by day, pretty much. So uh, we focus on the league now, but with the question you asked, we really haven't been looking at other teams in the league. I know player-wise, I know I haven't been watching anybody. So we really just been focused on the games ahead of us, the games right in front of us. Day by day. Yep. Keep checking them all. Guys, any more Thank questions you. for the players? <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks. We'll have coaching here in a minute.